experience of doing that. <laughs> First day in Warsaw, I think it's time to go for a little run. So I got back from my run this morning and I had breakfast with my sister, already Skype with my parents, had to do a few things regarding my traveling in the next few days and also I had to answer a whole, bunch, a whole lot of emails, stuff like that. So it was a pretty productive morning, now I think we're going to check out Lena's school, that should be exciting and I'll take you guys with me. So see you there. Just as it starts to rain, I'm getting outside, great. But yeah, I've been inside for most of the day today. Just relaxing, catching up with some sleep. And it's been good. Checked out the school. Uh, Lena showed me everything, what she's been up to for the, like, the last 10 months. And I was riding my board down the street and went for a really good run this morning. So yeah, things are going well. Enjoying myself here. And this area is just beautiful. I love Wausau. I could imagine living here one day, maybe. Probably not. I don't know. There's just so many places you can live. And I think just staying at one place all the time in my life is something I definitely don't want to do. I just want to be moving and checking out different places, but not just checking them out, actually living there for a few months. There's so many reasons why traveling makes you really happy. First of all, you appreciate friends and family and whatever you got at home so much more when you're traveling you yeah just whenever you get back to what you're used to you appreciate what you have because you don't usually have that while you're traveling i'm getting kind of fast here uh, that's all right second of all when you're traveling or moving to different places you get to know so many more people make so many friends all over the world and i think that's something that is extremely important it's pretty steep oh my god no way probably have to jump off at any second now otherwise it's getting too fast yeah screw that all right third point i think traveling also educates you way more than any book or anything you learn in school it's just the fact that you meet so many new cultures that you haven't experienced before and get to know so many people that tell you their stories and you're able to learn from that not just about history or general things that you can get taught in school as just your mind shifts a lot when you're traveling and that's something you should take from that all right point number four And next to education, appreciating what you have at home and making new friends, you also gain confidence. So you can, yes, confidence can go up so much when traveling. Like, you can gain confidence in the gym as well. That's the reason why I love going to the gym. But when you travel, especially when you travel alone, you get into situations you normally do not get into and just dealing with stuff you wouldn't normally deal with. And last but not least, probably the most important part, it gives you moments to remember. Woohoo! Being able to look back at the things you have experienced while traveling is just one of the best feelings or best experiences you have. You can capture those in images and videos like I do or just in your head which is probably the most important part like everybody can take something away from you everybody can steal 
the things that you buy, the materialistic stuff that you own. But nobody can take away what you've experienced, what you learned, what you, the memories you created. I think I'm just about to hit the main road here. Probably have to go the other way then. There's a song called Reckoning Song, or some people may know it as One Day. I guess something like One Day Baby will be old and think of all the stories that we could have told. And this says so much about what people do in life or how people how people's mindset work. Like they want to do something, they shift it to another day. They don't get around doing it anymore or any time. And I like to think about this as I can think about this as one day baby will be old and think about all the stories that are forever ours. I know it doesn't sound good for the song, but being able to tell a story in your future to like your kids or like people that are younger than you is so valuable. You also create a big inspiration for a lot of people when you're traveling. A lot of people look up to you and say, I want to go there, I want to do the stuff he's done. When you have something that you always wanted to do, a place you always wanted to see, just go ahead, leave work, family, and go see that place. The same goes for whatever you always wanted to start. Like, for example, you want to start a new hobby. You don't have to be great to start something, but you have to start in order to get great one day. Yeah, life is too short. Just make the most of it, be happy. Or, as I've learned, how people here in Wisconsin say, life is too short, eat dessert first. Alright, so I just finished uploading yesterday's vlog which is me surprising my sister here. If you haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching this one. Share it on social media platforms, and you can also follow me if you enjoyed the vlog. And yeah, be looking forward to the next one, which will be out tomorrow, as I upload every day from now on. Have yourselves a great day, and I'm out. Peace.